The Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we keep the memorial of Pope St. Leo the Great, who was one of the great popes of the church in the earlier times of the church. He was originally from Tuscany. And as Pope, he ruled the church in a way that both kept it together in unity uh, by combating various heresies and also even defended it in a physical way by confronting those who sought to invade and uh, bring uh, chaos to the uh, lands of the church. And in the uh, Council of uh, Ephesus, Sorry, the Council of Chalcedon in 451, he was very much instrumental in uh, solving uh, one of the great issues about the natures of Christ, that Christ had both a human and a divine nature, and his contribution, known as the Tome of Leo, which was read out at that council, led to the council fathers proclaiming, Peter has spoken. So a great example there of where the Pope really does lead the church in the truth and uh, confirms the church in the truth. The Mass is offered today for John Christopher Dignan. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. It is for you to preach the behaviour which goes with healthy doctrine. The older men should be reserved, dignified, moderate, sound in faith and love and constancy. Similarly, the older women should behave as though they were religious, with no scandal mongering or and no habitual wine drinking. They are to be the teachers of the right behaviour and show the younger women how they should love their husbands and love their children, how they are to be sensible and chaste, and how to work in their homes, and be gentle and do as their husbands tell them, so that the message of God is never disgraced. In the same way, 
you have got to persuade the younger men to be moderate and in everything you do make yourself an example to them of working for good. When you are teaching, be an example to them in your sincerity and earnestness and in keeping all that you say so wholesome that nobody can make objections to it. And then any opponent will be at a loss with no accusation to make against us. You see, God's grace has been revealed and it has made salvation possible for the whole human race and taught us that what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God and all our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world while we are waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ Jesus. He sacrificed himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness and to purify our people so that it could be his very own and would have no ambition except to do good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Which of you with a servant ploughing or minding sheep would say to him when he returned from the fields, Come and have your meal immediately? Would he not be more likely to say, Get my supper laid, make yourself tidy and wait on me while I eat and drink? You can eat and drink yourself afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So with you, when you have done all you have been told to do, say, we are merely servants. We have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pope St. Leo was indeed a great Pope. And of course, as Pope, he took the first position in the church, the Vicar of Christ, the successor to St. Peter, and in a way was a ruler, truly ruled uh, as well as led and guided. And yet, Leo knew well enough that he, along with all the members of the church, were exactly that, members of Christ's body, and all were called to a kingly and a priestly office as well as a prophetic office by reason of our baptism. Leo himself wrote about this, how we are all called to this high office and so uh, as we see reflected in that letter of Saint Paul to Titus, all of us in our different ways, um, men, fathers, husbands, wives, uh, older women, younger women, all have a place and all have a responsibility to behave responsibly and as members of the body of Christ. It brings with it a great responsibility and we should see that that calling is, is a higher one and look away from and leave behind the uh, ambitions of the world and rather look towards ambitions for the world to come. Indeed, we are all servants called to labour in Christ's vineyard and so we pray that we may have that understanding that indeed we are called to service and when we do carry out our service we know that we are just servants we have no rights 
in God's kingdom. But we know that God is merciful. We know that he is generous. And if we follow what he says and respond to his grace, he will be most generous towards his children. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Leo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember... <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, 
with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, savers, saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty for the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peter said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. All sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> 